Okay, this is my one and one half horsepower International Model M throttle governed engine around 1927 or so I believe uh, but today we're going to be removing the gib key so I can remove the flywheel I have to Huey coil a stud mount for the rocker arm cam um, the threads are pretty much gone in it I don't know why it may have loosened up once or somebody over tightened it uh, but they need to be redone and the flywheels in the way so before we do that I've soaked the gib key overnight to help it a little bit and we have the things we need here our little wire brush grinder good size hammer our gib key remover and screwdriver all right let's get set up here All right. <laughs> okay. First off, I'm going to remove the hand crank, hand guard here. Get that out. It should come off. I had it off before. Ah, a little sticky. There we go. That's rotated over. Now we'll get our wire brush, clean up a little bit. All right, get that cleaned up. Okay. Now this is the gib key right here. It is a tapered key going tapered slot. And normally when they're installed, you hit them in, they're pretty much self-locking. This one's not in bad shape. Sometimes you get ones right here that are kind of rounded out, don't got much of edge. Uh, you can usually take your grinding wheel, typically a new one with a flat edge, and you can straighten it up or use a file. The gib key will go in like this, and we will hit it this way the key should come out. Now, sometimes these will slip up. You can put either a clamp or an adjustable wrench here to hold it while you're hitting. So, uh, let me spray a little more fluid there, penetrating oil. Help it a little bit. Okay, here we go. Hopefully she'll come off a little bit of there we go. Ah, coming out nicely. There we go. All right, a little more. Difficult. 
oil and grease cup off, which I should have removed to start with. All right. This is the grease cup for lubricating the Babbitt bearing internally. Now she should slide out. There we go. All right, removed. I don't know if you can see, but you can see the taper on there. They get a little bigger here. here. So as you push them in, they tighten up. These hold in pretty well. I've really never seen one come out that's been pushed in. All right, that should do it for now. And uh, we can get that off, puller, and helicoil our stud.